Time for an update. First, the PCBs. If you've ordered PCBs from me and you haven't received them, chances are that I am working on them. If you order a long time ago and you received the tracking number and you didn't receive, then contact me because there's a very good chance that on my side that order looks like it's been taken care of, it's been fulfilled, and so there's no problem. And so I don't know that you haven't gotten your thing. So if you've gotten a tracking number but you never received the product, contact me and then I'll do my best to try to get those orders out uh, as soon as possible. All right, next, I've spent the last couple of days in Austin, Texas. And the reason I went to Austin was to meet Robert Llewellyn. If you don't know who Robert is, back in the 90s, there was a TV show in Discovery Channel called Junkyard Wars, where a bunch of people would have to engineer challenges. They would get challenges to build a boat that could float, that could pull and tow, and then they just had whatever was in the junkyard. You know, it was pretty cool to watch uh, as a kid, you know, people doing stuff, with whatever they had laying around. So Robert was the host of that show and so I grew up watching him. Today Robert has a YouTube channel called Fully Charged and where they talk about you know renewable energy and you know mostly about 70% it's about cars, electric cars, but then all the other renewable energies. So the reason I went to Austin to meet him was because he is putting on a thing called Fully Charged Live USA. Uh, it, pretty much a convention where you would go and then you would get to hear panels and you would network with a bunch of people that are interested in the same things uh, that you are, like electric cars and renewable energy, right? And so last year he successfully did one in the UK uh, where over 6,000 people uh, attended and the panels were great. He uploaded all of those. And when I saw that, I thought, oh my God, this is pretty amazing. I wish I would have known I probably would have been tempted to go to the UK for the first time to attend this event, right? But lucky me, I don't have to because this next September, he is coming to the USA. And he expects this one to maybe be about the same size or hopefully bigger. It's America. We have more people. So there's it should, probably should be bigger, right? And so he had a pre-launch event where he invited a bunch of, you know, people that could potentially be sponsors or potentially be people that take place uh, on in this expo show, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm interested in doing that. I would love to have a panel and talk about the DIY side of things. In my experience, people who buy a, an electric car are, there's higher likelihood of them engaging in a DIY project in a battery and you know installing their own solar even if it's like a small project or something or or start you know thinking about batteries they all of a sudden they see technology renewable technology a different way right and so I think it would be great for me to be there and either have a workshop or a seminar where I introduce either people for the first time or I just show them something that they already know but they haven't seen it firsthand how to build a diy project based on renewable energy either an ev car or my little power wall things you know with my pcbs something right and so that's the reason why i went to austin so we can figure out how to make that happen right things went well i met him we got to talk ultimately i think something good will come off of that and so it was the trip was a success Next, the PCBs, the PCBs. I'm still uh, developing this PCB system. You guys have seen a few videos. That video has several hundreds of thousands of views. There's, uh, I don't know, somewhere around 10,000 of these guys out in the wild. You guys are building stuff, right? But, but from my side, I have not been giving you guys a lot of updates, right? This is still in beta. This is still in development, right? So I haven't finished it. The latest thing that I'm working right now is going to be this BMS board, right? So this bottom right here, it's a BMS and it uses three off the shelf BMSs. And it should be pretty easy for anyone to populate this board with these BMSs and just slap it on the top of their stack of their boards and then that stack is already protected 
with a BMS system. That has redundancy because it's using three in parallel. And so not only will that add uh, more power output, but it also adds redundancy. If one of these guys, uh, one of the BMSs, if one of these, you know, e-bike Chinese BMSs uh, ends up faulty as they often do so then you have another two that then you can rely on keeping your battery safe of course your power level is going to go down but at least your battery is going to be safe right so it's kind of redundant it's going to be safe and i'm doing all the testing today for the very first time i actually get to sit down and spend a couple of hours with that inside all the stuff and it's some tests let me show you what i got going because also with that new ideas come and well, let, let me just show you. This is a little battery pack that I just built. The BMS board is, you know, this one right here. It's got one BMS board and uh, basically I'm running some lights. See these guys right here? And they are pretty power hungry. Look at that. I'm pulling three amps off of this pack. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I wanted to check these little meters, right? I wanted a way to like visually be able to see if your pack is balanced, if one of the cells is giving you problems. And look at that. This thing says that cell number three is lower than all the other ones. You know, maybe maybe this is going to work. These are super cheap. You can get them for like, I don't know, 50 cents or something if you buy them in quantity. So we can ex import them from China and then they're easy to install. Two cables, you know, it's double sided tape and there you go. And when you step back... You can very quickly just see what's going on with your pack. Now, how accurate are they? Let's check against my other thing over here. Look at that. So, according to this, it says it's cell number three. <laughs> it's low. But if you check over here, I don't know, man. It's, it's not perfect, but it's not. Cell number three is kind of high. So, maybe these things are not going to be such a good idea. Uh, one of the things that I don't like is the fact that there's on, only four sectors, right? So so I would l like it for them to have more resolution uh, and obviously be more accurate, right? But these are super cheap and you can very quickly do something like that. Um, there might be useful so that it's just visually you can check your pack and then and you can you can keep an eye on your voltage, right? So those are the tests that I'm doing as soon as I finish all the stuff and as soon as uh, I am looking into another eight segment uh, meter thing. But the problem with it is that it, you can't buy it already assembled. So it's like in kit form. And so you would have to populate the little PCB boards. And, you know, if you're going to populate that PCB board, you might as well populate the, on the main board. Right. But the thing is, there's like probably about 10 parts per per you know meter and so you gotta multiply that by seven so you're yeah you're looking at quite a bit of parts uh so it might be you know like kind of labor intensive i don't know if that's what i where i want to go um but i don't know i order some we will do this exact same test i will put them in a board and then see how hard and how much work it was but that's essentially what i'm doing here i'm just testing uh, these are the two pieces. Another another one of these little things that I'm thinking of using is, you know, um, the problem with this BMS is that it never tells you if it's working or not. It just will disconnect. And if you have more packs and parallel, then you might lose some and you might not never know because this thing just shuts itself off and it doesn't tell you, right? So another way to go about it is to Instead of using this, you use one that gives you more feedback. And this guy right here, it's a really cool little, you know, monitor that tells you, you know, this, it's got like little, it's got like a little alarm here. And then I've seen people hack these and use the output of the alarm to actually, uh, I've seen people hack these where if they have the, if they have the alarm go off, then that uh, electrifies either a switch to turn off, like a normally open switch, and electrifies it, and then it shuts stuff off, or the opposite, you know? But you can trigger something to disconnect your battery. And so this is these are pretty useful, and these are like two bucks or three bucks or whatever. They're super cheap. Uh, so you could have these guys in a board 
in a system you know managing a few of them and it could potentially you know step in and disconnect your battery pack and also let you know by you know sounding the little alarm or whatever so these are kind of attractive because they're they're abundant you can get them anywhere and they're cheap and uh, they're effective all right let's load those lights up look at that see now they're starting to lower this one's low and this one's low except that this one doesn't match yeah i don't know these are not gonna work but when you load it that's one amp that's four amps Ooh, look at that yeah they need more resolution and more resolution and better accuracy on those guys I mean, I don't know. Is it even worth it? I have something that is off. It might just makes us worry more when you we see like, you know, when in, in actuality, it's not. So the other question is, why not just use these? Right? Because it would be perfect if you just had these. But, well, they don't make these anymore. They make these. But these are hard to get. I think these are like in, in low production, like low numbers. So they're got hard to get. They're like 30 bucks. So they start around 30 and they go all the way up to like 60. So that's the reason why I'm hesitant to use these because I myself have trouble finding them. You know, I, I haven't found a, a seller that stocks, you know, hundreds of them or thousands of them or where it would we would need right because if you guys all just you know if i instruct you guys to go and use this and you guys all go and try and buy it then it's gonna sell out everywhere and so that's a real problem uh it's kind of expensive and it's hard to get so that's it's not perfect so that is just a very quick update of what's happening with all my projects i will be gone this weekend so hopefully i will have a video about my adventures coming up this next few days and so stay tuned uh for those videos coming up next week i want to thank you for you know supporting all my efforts watching my videos liking giving me thumbs up even the hate even the hate it it's it's a valuable thing right it's engagement if it's positive and i mean i would rather be positive but even the negative engagement is positive at the at the end of the day so i want to thank you for that right so stay busy building stuff we'll see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.